Expander is all about populating the small plot of land that the player character is given at the start of the game. It is about finding the most efficient and automatic ways of gathering the resources and constructing new buildings. The player has to manage the economy, so all structures collaborate well with each other and provide enough materials for future resource production. The goal of the game is to collect and expand as much as it virtually possible. When I started working on Expander, I realized I jumped into a deep ocean. There were several mechanics I have never attempted in any of my past projects before, but overall I was excited for the challenge. I wanted to see how far I can expand the basic functionality and the complexity of one of my favorite game types. As for one of the key technical challenges, I designed construction building mechanics. Unfortunately, I chose a very time consuming solution for its structure. The building can be placed if none of the tiles that the new building is about to cover is occupied. This could be easily done by collision detection, while instead I decided to implement tile grid that spawns at the start of the game. It communicates with the player mouse input and checks for all the tiles that are about to be covered by a new building. This gives slightly more precision to the mechanism, arguably not worth the fuss for the amount of time that it took to design it. Nevertheless, the outcome of building system seems to be working very well and has some god mine on polish elements. I took my time to add visual appealing ghost building system mechanism that tells the player whether the structure can be placed on a currently selected position. There are some sound effects for both buttons and structure placing even. The buildings contain correct data, check for environmental and infrastructural obstacles, and signalize the selected position each time during the gameplay without errors. On the top of building mechanics, the player has plenty of access to interact with during the gameplay. In environments, they can interact with trees, bushes and caves in order to find primary resources that can be further processed into more advanced materials. At some point of the game, the player will be obliged to enter structures in order to assign tasks and prioritize production for certain materials or completing building the structures. Different structures have their unique functionalities and focus on affecting different branches of the game economy. Let us talk about the game economy then. The player will not be allowed to process or produce all existing in-game materials and resources at the first stages of the gameplay. They will need to build their way up gradually to construct more advanced buildings, starting with gathering wood and food manually, to constructing several farms, from mining stone and coal by entering caves, to gathering sturdy ores manually by using buildings, from crafting materials by hand in a time-consuming process to automizing all productions in the future. After building shelters and residences, the player expands their manpower availability. This is a special resource that can be used to operate buildings automatically. If the player has no manpower available, they can still use placed buildings or finished started construction sites, but each time they have to manually enter each actor in order to utilize their functionality. The manpower changes that. Each building will have its manpower slider, allowing different number of workers to occupy the building. Just one person will ensure that the structure is making progress even if the player character is not currently inside it. Added additional workers will improve building's efficiency gradually. Although there are several spots for workers that can occupy each building, at some point player will have to place additional structures after reaching maximal cap for manpower on certain factories. All in all, Expander has a fairly large complexity for its design test. It implements all essential and even some additional mechanics that are characteristic to the city building and factory type games. 
It has some polish that both makes the gaming experience more satisfying and pleasant and communicates with the player well in order to signalize all actions available to them at a the given time. In spite of me overscoping the project, I am happy with the final outcome and experience that it gave me for future tests and projects.